Cable mod, power cord, power supply, direct replacement kits are now available for Cooler Master V-Series power supplies. Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another rush kit video for you and today we're going to be taking a look at the power colour R9390X Devil. Now, uh, if any of those of you out there have never heard of the Devil branded before from power colour, it pretty much means the uh, absolute top end card that they're possibly going to do. It's their absolute flagship top tier card and if I move the box out the way I've got the other one already out of it underneath um, so first thing we get to is a mouse mat and I wanted to show you this it is a uh, plastic topped mouse mat with the devil brand on it but it's actually really thick and really high quality uh, generally when you see free mouse mats in these they're like as thin as a sheet of paper um, but this one's actually real thick nice and spongy it's got a nice quality feel to it when we get our first look underneath you do get a look at the um, quick install and driver guide and it's all embossed and looks really nice nice high quality feel good thick card as well it's all about the experience with these cards but then underneath we do get our first look at the hybrid cooling so it is indeed hybrid cooled and that means that we've got a air cooler on here which is taking care of cooling the power delivery so the mosfets and the caps and all that kind of thing and a little bit towards the memory on the card as well all eight gigabyte of it but we've also got an aio cooler so we've got like a pump that you used to be seeing on the cpu underneath here and then just off to the side, you can see that we've got a 120 millimeter radiator. The hose in the radiator feels very much like uh, what we've come to see on the um, AMD 295X2s. Uh, the fan is very similar as well. It's actually quite a sharp edged fan and they're quite thin blades. You can see that they're uh, designed for static pressure, but they're not particularly um, massively high quality. Although from the ones I remember on the 295X2, they were very quiet. Um, you can see that the, the fan is hardwired in and when we tip it around and I can't see any obvious way of being able to change the fan without uh, stripping it down. When we cover it on the main OC3D TV channel within the next few weeks, because we are quite busy at the moment and we do do the full review, I will tell you about fan speeds and all that type of thing then. Uh, something that I did want to point out to you is if we tip the card this way around, there's your two slot you can see it's at least a three slot card and that's because the fan that's here is angled in a certain direction to help cool all these parts down here. You can see it's actually open as well. I can get my finger in down there. Um, so I don't know how well it's gonna end up cooling that memory. You can just get a slight glimpse of the Acetec water pump hiding in underneath there. So air and water cooled. We do have a lovely back plate as well and thankfully the design on the back plate is the right way around. We've got these two nice flashes of grey and then the devil logo in the middle. It does actually remind me of the daredevil film a bit there and then these bits around the outside almost remind me of Triple um, uh, X as well so I'm not sure uh, what you might think of that but it's, it's subtle enough and eye-catching enough I suppose you could think. It's a mixed, nice mixture of the two. Um, the core in the card runs at 1100 megahertz, and obviously with the um, hybrid cooling we are expecting uh, quite good temperatures for the, the core. We're going to be paying special, uh, special attention to the uh, temperature of the MOSFETs on this one though, as long as the uh, temperature senders are there because sometimes they're not. Uh, I have been uh, told a price of £359 for the card itself, which puts it right up there with 980 territory. So it'll be good to see how it fares in our graphs when we do do the full review. But for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another rush kit for you, out. Cable mod, power cord, power supply, direct replacement kits are now available for Cooler Master V-Series power supplies.